Hello everyone, Jason here, and today I'm here to guide you, to give you a guide on just what villagers are. Um, I am here on a world, I've already kind of pimped out the village here, obviously I'm on creative. I'm going to be showing you uh, what villagers are, how they function, and what purpose they serve in Minecraft. So if you're new to Minecraft, um, then you may be surprised when you encounter one of these villagers. Uh, chances are you'll probably see a few houses and you'll be thinking, what the hell, I swear this is a single player world. You might be a little freaked out at first. I was kind of excited when I saw a village uh, for the first time, so any reaction is normal, I guess. What villagers serve, though, is they house these little fellas. Hello, hello, these are villagers. As you can see. Oh, hi guys. What's up? Now, villagers are AIs. Just to qualify, they are clarified. They are not players at all. Guys, I'd get inside. It's oh wow, creeper. Thank God I wasn't on <laughs> survival mode. So as you can see, villagers do mingle quite well with most uh, aggressive mobs, but they have a bad thing. They have a bad relationship with zombies. I think. Run, my brethren, run! There's a zombie on the loose. So as you can see, zombies will attempt to kill villagers, and they're not too stupid to run away from them. They'll, they'll give them a good chase. As you can see, the villagers are much faster than zombies. Uh, so you might be thinking, um, why, why should, why should I care? These guys are just stupid little idiots afraid of zombies, and they're clearly in superior. Uh, compared to myself, you know, I'll just, why am I always invisible? God damn. Anyways, well, think about it this way, villagers are kind of like people in a way, and one of the many skills people have is their trading ability. For instance, you can trade with villagers by left clicking on them, with the, uh, left trigger. Uh, they'll often give you some outrageous deals, like some very bad deals, but someone will trade you uh, with emeralds. Now, emeralds are what villagers love. They'll trade you, uh, they trade at outrageous prices just because they love emeralds. However, some villagers will, tra will give you um, emeralds in exchange for certain items. Uh, like, for instance, some librarians, like this villager here. If, he, if I were to give him 28 paper, he would give me a emerald. Thank you. Which leads me to my next subject. Uh, villager types. Now there are many types of villagers. Uh, they each specialize in different things. This chap here, the one in uh, full brown uniform, is uh, the default villager, also known as uh, the farmer. Over here, this chap in white is a librarian. And I'm going to spawn a few in, uh, because I don't think we have a full set here. Now it's a librarian, farmer, librarian, farmer, priest. Ah, this pink dude is a priest, a good chap. He'll often trade you some some extraordinary stuff for uh, emeralds. Follow is enchanting. Uh, no, thank you, not today, my friend. Um. Also, I believe there are two other types. Ah, here's one. This is the butcher. He'll trade you, uh, oh, give me, I want to trade with you, bro. He'll trade you, uh, leather items and meat, uh, for emeralds and coal. And the final guy is, come on, is this him? No, that's a farmer. Come on. Come on. Ah, blacksmith. Blacksmiths will offer you blacksmith type stuff. Ingots, coal, uh, even pickaxes. Sometimes diamonds, I believe, for emeralds. So, obviously, having a few emeralds on you isn't that bad an idea. However, emeralds can be very, very rare. They look like, uh, I'll just get some light here. And they look like this, and they can only be found in, uh, mines underneath, uh, hill biomes. So, villagers might be a little greedy, but they do have nice settlements, and you can live in some. Uh, they, they have good homes, uh, 
a, a wide variety of them. Like you got a standard house here. You got smaller huts. You got these little farms that they set up, often uh, specialising in wheat. You can sometimes have uh, carrots and potatoes. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, you got librarians' homes, which oh, I'm trying to find one. Okay, this here. I think that's a farmer home. Yeah, this is a farmer's home. It's got a little uh, outdoor garden. Hello, guys. You, you you appear to be a bit hemmed in here. I'll uh I'll free you. You are free, my people. Yeah. You even have these blacksmiths homes. They have no. Sadly, some homes have no doors, which means monsters can easily own these guys. So, yeah. Here's some items that I found in this uh, blacksmith's area earlier. Uh, all iron goodies. Uh, sometimes there can be bread. Uh, even a diamond I found once. So yeah, these guys are full of good stuff. Uh, just be wary. Uh, some villagers can even turn into zombies. Uh, when they're killed by them. Uh, so it might be a good... Sometimes these chaps will spawn in. Uh, villagers, but not often, so you may want to may consider building one. What you do is you take four blocks of iron and pop them in a T shape. And then pop a pumpkin on top, and make sure you add the pumpkin last, and you'll have yourself an iron golem. Now, uh, these iron golems uh, do not attack you unless you attack them. Obviously, you won't attack me because I'm on creative mode. But they do beat the crap out of zombies. Only certain mobs will be beaten up by them. But it's not just uh, zombies. Uh, there are a few that I believe they will attack. So let me just show you. Right. So they'll attack zombies, right? You know. Oh, hey Golem. Golem, look. Zombie. Zombie, look, Iron Golem, there is a zombie, go and kick its ass, come on man, you're lagging, you're slacking man, you're not even trying, oh, oh, owned, two hit wonder, this guy got strength, what about a skeleton, yep, sure, he'll beat him up, what about the creeper though, uh, sadly no, Sadly not. Oh, well, how about a little spider? Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, a slime. A big old slime. I swear these guys will attack slimes. No, perhaps not. Oh, but, uh, what if you're in the nether? With your, your trusty iron, iron golem? Well, uh, he'll, he'll deal with the pigmen, but probably not the flying stuff. And of course we have the Endermen, who are just bastards. It's handy that the Iron Golems will kill them. I'm pretty sure they'll kill cave spiders, spiders just as easily. There you go. So there you go. Uh, the moral of this story is, villagers are good, but make sure you protect them well. Maybe build a, consider building an Iron Golem in your village. Uh, to protect your villagers, and remember the types. Only certain types will give you certain things. But at the end of the day, I mean, you can't really hate villagers. I mean, just look at them. Just look at them. A like little squid with. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. <gasps> Wait, I was, I was a villager. I, I was a villager. I am the villager. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, 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 thank you for watching, hmm, hmm.